friend Jenny and we want to do this is really awkward I feel like yeah, I right. take, <laughs> take two okay we gotta yeah, open one um I will open this one no I just liquid courage my okay. event cheers cheers oh shit okay <laughs> okay so take two <laughs> All right, so I'm here with my friend Jody. Hi. And this was a video that was requested by some of my friends back in the States. Really? <laughs> yeah, they wanted to see the different beers because they know that I enjoy drinking beers. Um, and then I thought, what greater person to invite than Jody? Because Jody really enjoys beers. Like, if my beer level is here, I think Jody, you're like up here. Oh, just in volume, not in like knowledge. <laughs> True, okay, yes, that's true. We our knowledge of beers is is not so great, but we love the taste. Um, okay, so we have prepared here a bunch of beers. I don't think we're gonna be able to drink all of them. No. <laughs> um, but we will try to make this fun and yeah. So I think we can talk about the different breweries that are here in Amsterdam um, or in the Netherlands. Yeah, that we can pronounce. Yes, yeah, so that we can pronounce and um, then we can talk about maybe our favorite bars, um, and then, yeah, which beer we like the most. And then we will end with a taste test of a 0% Heineken and a regular Heineken. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, also, I guess we should talk about how I know you because as you can clearly tell from Jody's accent, she is Australian. Um, and we met, do you remember? In per like the in person meeting, or I, I commented on your Instagram. Yes. <laughs> so Jody has an amazing Instagram that everyone should go follow, where oh. she just <laughs> drinks a bunch of different beers. Um, Glamorizing alcoholism. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, she talks about the different beers, and you drink beers also in like what I was gonna say Alaska, but I meant Antarctica. Yeah. Antarctica. Did you I was like kind of an off tap or something. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, but still, she goes all over the world and she travels and she drinks beers there. And so that is your Instagram um, oh, showcasing that. So we met because I was visiting Amsterdam. Yeah, I think I had messaged that I was coming to Amsterdam and looking for beer recommendations. Yeah, I was like, where should I drink or something? Yeah, and then you were like... Here, here, here. Yeah, and then were you the one who said, like, let's meet up? Or was I the one who I said... I think you probably... I could have probably know. done it. I, it's so me to, to do it. Yeah, right no, I just say yes to everything, so yeah. So we met there, and then after that, yeah, we stayed in touch. I went yeah. back to the States briefly, and then when I found my job and I was homeless, Jody and her roommate took me in for a couple of, mm -hmm. of days. That was really sweet of you. Um, <laughs> no, so that's, yeah, that's how we met. All right, so we are already one beer down, I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about the different breweries that you can find here in the Netherlands. You have <laughs> <laughs> the Uwege Jeugd. Wow. Mm, it's probably wrong. Um, it's like, it means eternal youth. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. But I really like their beers. They have, um, this is called the Lullabelle. It's a blonde, but they, I like their Bulabok, which yeah. is their triple, uh, which is really good. And I did not, I haven't been to this brewery yet. No, it's just, it's further down. It's like maybe a 10, 15 minute walk from here. Dang. I haven't been yet either. But this is, yeah, it's definitely on my list. I like their beers. Um, do you want to pronounce this one? <laughs> uh, the phonetic way? <laughs> Brow Ridge Tinge. No, it's a... Uh, Brow Ridge Tie. Brow Ridge Tie, yes. <laughs> um, and this is also known as the Windmill. The Windmill Pub. Yes, the Windmill Brewery. Um, and this is very classic. I don't know, I feel like everybody drinks this everyone likes that yes yeah. it's the eyewit um and yeah we have from the same uh brewery their triple yeah that's which my is really good also it's called the zata um yeah and all these beer well most of these beers you can find in the grocery store uh this one oedipus. oh the oedipus brewery 
I don't think I've seen this one. I think it was a limited one. I don't know, but oh. they always have cool names. Did you did you read the one for Panty? No. So well, okay, you can explain like how they have man names like Kamana Leaf de. Oh, I don't know this. <laughs> oh, they're, they're always like kind of like wink wink kind of names like Man Love. Um, oh, what was the? There's like oh, swingers. This one's called Strip. Strip. They had one called Panty, but like the Dutch people for them Panty because they always have a story about the beer name. And oh. in the description of the one panty, it's just like, yeah, and then I ripped off her panty on, on a white nine stand and blah, blah, blah. It's like, you ripped her panties off? Like, what the fuck? But in Dutch, panty means pantyhose. So it makes oh. more sense to rip, like, types of than okay. a Okay, I didn't know you, but... that. Um, but yeah, what is their, uh, well, Oedipus is also Tai Tai. Tai Tai, yeah, that's a really good one. But that doesn't mean anything. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No racism in this. <laughs> um, but yes, this is from, going back on a topic, mm. this is from Oedipus. Um, this is also from Oedipus. This is actually one of my favorite favorites from them. Um, and then I think that's all we have from, from there. Have you been to the brewery? I have been to the brewery. The brewery is really cool. Yeah. It's in Nord. They sell kimchi fries. The burger. Oh my God. And the burger is really good. The beef chief. That like you eat it and you take a bite and you're like, Ugh. <laughs> seriously, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, their beers are pretty good, I would say. Um, next one's oh, tr truce, trost, trost, trost. Trost is also one of I I like their beers. Yeah. Um, they though they used to sell in Albert Hein our grocery store, but now they don't. Now it's like online only, I think. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. Um, but now yeah, you can only go to their stores or buy it online. Um, but they have really good beers. Also, let's open our second beer. Yeah, I know, right? Which one should we um, do? <laughs> something, should we start light? Um, should we, oh, we can do the open. Yeah. Should we open this yeah. one and we can talk about it while yeah. we're okay. Um, this is Yopin and this brewery is actually not in Amsterdam. It's in Harlem. Yeah. Um, in old church. Yes. Yeah. That's a really cool thing about this brewery is that it's in an old church, converted church. Um, oh, it's a bit shook. My bad. That was probably my book bag. Oh. <laughs> Go for it. But this is their New England IPA, and yeah, it's really tasty. Okay, let's do more. Yeah. Awesome. Cheers. Cheers. Liquor. <laughs> yeah, it's super fruity. Yeah. Um, I usually don't like IP. I feel like the IPAs here in the Netherlands are much lighter than IPAs in, like at least in the states. IPAs are much like hoppier, and I feel like here it's it's kind of toned down. So I don't mind drinking the IPAs here. Um, but I think that's all we have from Yopin. This is also ooh, this is also another brown oh, yeah. guy we forgot <laughs> to talk about. Um, and then we have. Walhalla, which is also another brewery, and it's actually close to... It's like two minutes, yeah. Yeah, two minutes walking from Oedipus. So if you ever are near that area, then you can hit up both breweries. Um, their cans are cute, and their decor is cute. Yeah, and they when you order tasting trays, they have it like shaped in their logo, so it's cute mm. when it's all presented. When I went, though, I will have to say the beers were okay. They were all right. There we go. <laughs> it is definitely not my first choice in a brewery, but their design is really cute. Yeah. And, and all their beers are like named after gods and stuff. So oh, it's yeah. Cool. Yeah. That I've is... got some female gods just for Ooh, some representation. Okay. Yes. Let's do it. So annoying. We cannot find the girl. Oh, I, I got one of your people. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Is this, is this also from? It's a Dutch one. But where is it from? It's a Alche. Is it Alche? Oh, Alche. We have yeah. not talked about Alche yet. Okay, so focus, focus, Jody, focus. Wait, wait, wait. I need women. Judo. I think. Nice. Wee. So yes, Walha has some really cute. Is that even how you pronounce it? Valhalla, yeah, I guess. Or is it Valhalla? With a v, v, because like normally people spell it with a W. Ah. I mean with a V. 
I, I know my alphabet. <laughs> okay, so that was Walhalla Brewery. Um, we talked about Yopin. The last one I think that we have here is Ultra. And this is also located in Harlem, right next to the Yopin Brewery. And you can tell because they have um, little owls. Owls, yes. Which you, is the, what the beer means. Yes, it means little owl. Little at the chip is. Yeah, yeah. Little owl. Look at this, they're Dutch. Um, their beers are, you enjoy them. Do you enjoy them? I, I don't remember like chugging one down, but I remember the one with um, that bitch, Carol Baskin. What is it? The Tiger King. They mm -hmm. had one with the Tiger King on the. On the can, and that was like uh, super, it was like a juicy IPA or something. Is this is from Ultra? No. It's just, yeah. It is, it is. It's the same art. Jody said that this one is um, for, for me. People. <laughs> she said it's for my people. Nitro strawberry. I didn't even know what type of beer it was. Okay, yeah. there you go. It's a strawberry milk stout. Interesting. Um, yeah, I think for me, because Ultra, when I went to their brewery, was mostly IPAs. And I haven't been. Oh, you haven't been? No. Okay. Um, yeah, when I went, it was mostly IPAs. I'm not a huge fan of IPAs, so for me, that's why I would prefer Yopin over Ultra. Okay. But it's it's still an experience to go to. Yeah. The other ones. Um, but I think that's it for the. Oh yeah. For Maybe an IPA. <laughs> for our breweries, there are more breweries here in Amsterdam, uh, but these are probably the main big ones, I mm -hmm. think. So. <laughs> Cheers. Oh my god. <laughs> We're still yeah, on our second That's like beer. one minute of usable. <laughs> We're still on our second beer. It's okay. Um, we are also slow drinking because during COVID, we have not been drinking as much. Our tolerance is... Oh, yes. Our tolerance has gone down a lot. Um, favorite bars? Mm, Bread or Ridge Tidge. About my dad. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, the Windmill Brewery is one of your favorites. But then when that's busy, the hot tip when it's like normal times is to go next door to the Amsterdam place. Oh, I haven't been there. It's, yeah, it's just a, literally next door. The seats are always empty, but they sell the same beers. Nice. So there you go. Okay. There's a good tip. Um, I think my favorite bar is actually, have you been to Aaron's Nest? Yeah. Aaron's Nest is on top, I think, because they have all sorts of beers. Yeah. But there's Dutch focus as well. Yeah. And their toilets are cool. The floors have all these bottle caps, I think, from memory. This uh, is like six or seven years ago that I went. Oh, yeah. Also, you can do, they have like a little game or a pub crawl that you can do and get a free shirt at the end. Oh, so if you hit that. up like all six of their, well, other partners, yeah, the other partners, then apparently you can get a free shirt. I haven't done it yet. Um, but one day when COVID ends, we will do it. Never. <laughs> um, I also like, what other? Um, Puppet Island. What's that? Puppet Island is um, in the center, and it's a brown cafe. Okay. Uh, oh yes, it's brown bars. It sounds naughty when like non Amsterdam is talking about it. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> brown bars are basically traditional, old fashioned Dutch bars. Yes, and they're called brown cafes, brown bars because of the wood that's brown. Yeah. Um, but they're cozy. And Hazelig. yes, they're Hazelig. Um, oh, well, this is not for, it's a bar, but they sell really good apple pie. Cafe Winkle. Have you been oh, there? Oh, everyone talks about that, but I've never been. Oh, their apple pies are really good. Okay. I mean, the beers are just like your regular Le Chouf, yeah. whatever, but um, their apple pies are really, really good. But I honestly know, I don't know, because I moved kind of in this area more after COVID hit. So I don't, I haven't really gone to any of the bars. We, oh, you were in the center. Because I was in the center. Oh, okay. So I know all the center bars, but yeah. not the bars around here. It keeps changing to be honest as well. Like even without COVID, a lot of these bars would have been taken over by new management. Ah. I reckon. Well, there you have it. By the time you watch this video, <laughs> it's will all be outdated. Outdated. <laughs> by the time you can travel, everything will be outdated. <laughs> okay. So we, we're almost done with our beer. Um, we talked about the breweries, the thing. Do you have a favorite beer here? Zata. Oh, yes. Very that much. is Jody's favorite beer. Mine is probably out of these. Oh, and Tai Chai. My bad. Tai Chai. Oh, yeah. And the Oedipus from Tai Chai, which we don't have. But mine probably will be this. Yeah. The New England IPA. 
um, that we still have not finished. A what? I can't believe you almost tried to open another beer without finishing this one. Oh, it's finished so I can open this now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then my other favorite one is probably this. The Manor Leaf does really good. Uh, from also from Oedipus. Mm -hmm. Oedipus has winning beers. They really do. Yeah. I also like, I mean, at this point, I just like all of them. <laughs> <laughs> We're the same after the third bottle. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, but yes, for this purpose, though, we only got um, Amsterdam or Netherlands beers, but actually, I think some of my favorite are also Belgian beers. I get too drunk now of them. It's too okay. heavy for me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, normally, like, 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 I remember, like yeah, exactly, but I remember after, when I used to work in the pipe, we'd always go to, um, the Gollum, was it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Cafe Gollum, that yeah, also yeah. closed into pipe now. No, like, yeah. for, forever? I don't know, it had a four rent sign. Ah, shit, okay. Yeah. Well, things are, the OG things are closing down. But yeah, we'd go there after work, and we'd always just, like, get stuff on tap, and we'd go through, like, ten rounds. I could handle that, but now... Like Ooh. half a glass. Five. Sometimes I drink one Heineken and I get like tipsy. It's so the zero percent one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So apparently I didn't choose a favorite beer. You had one. Um, mine is actually probably the bull the Bullabock, but I I don't have it here. I only have the Bullabell. It's fine. It's all right. You can like flash a picture. Yes. Um, okay. After we finish this beer, we will do uh, the taste test. <laughs> oh, <laughs> can we have pizza first? <laughs> oh yeah, we should order pizza. Let's get pizza. Okay, let's do it. We're gonna order pizza. Oh, Jody, we gotta slow down on these beers. I know, right? Sorry, we are not spring chickens anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I need to cleanse my palate. I need to cleanse my palate. Okay, so for this last part, we are going to taste test. Whether or not Jody can tell the difference I can't. between a 0% Heineken and a regular Heineken. And Heineken is from Amster from the Netherlands. I don't know if it's from Amsterdam. It's a Netherlands beer. And yeah, Jody and I were just talking about how 0% beers have been growing in, in the market. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and there's a big push for 0%. When I first had my first 0%, it tasted like dirty socks. Okay, taste test. Smells like sweet beer. This, this is. Jody had a better experience. Yeah. It was her first zero percent. So let's see. Um, all right, Jody, I'm gonna hand you one, and I need you to tell but me. But I know both glasses have this. Oh, that's. No, 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 no. I'm handing you the bottle. Oh. Can I maybe do braille? No, 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 no. Just, just take a sip. Just take okay, a sip. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is like 0%. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Is take, it? Take, a sip, take a sip of this one. Maybe I need to cleanse my palate more. Yeah, this is... Wow, what? None what of them taste like Heineken. <laughs> Which one is the zero percent? The first one. The, the first one tasted a bit off. Okay, you're right. The first one apparently you can't tell. All right, let me try. Let me try. Uh, Johnny germs. If you have COVID, I have COVID now. <laughs> okay, hand me the other one. Hi, <laughs> hey, Heineken does a pretty good job. No. Wait. Oh, <laughs> This one is your percent? Yeah. Okay. It's, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, it worked! Yay! I'm proud of us. Um, <laughs> it, they're very similar, though. I had yeah, a but that, like, that doesn't, if, but, I think that was, like, strategically good for me to give me that one first because it doesn't taste like beer. Really? It tasted? It tastes like... There was something a little off for me, but I couldn't, but maybe my palate is not as refined. It's not crisp. It's like mm. essence of beer, you know, like it's like a fart bubble of beer, but not the actual beer. Ghost beer. 
It is more flat. Yeah. It's flat. We hope that you enjoyed our beer tasting and Jody cheers to our first. Is this alcoholic? This one is alcoholic. Oh, cheers. cheers. <laughs> Thank you, Jody, for joining.